Welcome into Extra Time. It's the question that everybody is asking as we kick things off. Is Craig ever coming back? He's been on vacation well, for a long time. Well, it's been a week. No, it's been longer than a week. What day is today? <laughs> yeah, today's Monday. Hey, right. time flies when you're having fun. So it's been ten days. <laughs> ten days. Time flies. That's quite a long time. He was away for five weeks last year, so all right. this is a piece of cake. But you play golf with him, he's still alive, he's still he's good, still, still happy. Swinging. Yeah, happy, happiest man alive on a golf course. Of course. What would it be like when he comes back here? Oh, not very happy. No. <laughs> uh, if league seasons are to resume at a later date, how long do teams need for training before they're ready for matches? Ooh. Mm. Well, clearly you can't do a normal pre-season. Sure. But again, what you'd have to realise is that everybody's going to be in the same boat. Okay. So no team is going to be fitter or quicker or stronger than anybody else because whatever time period it is, they'll all have the same time. And I imagine the players are still working out. It's yeah. still yeah, but it's, a di it's a different fitness altogether. Well, yeah. Right. But you're going to be pressed for time. So you can't be like, hey, let's take a couple of weeks to get ready. No, I think yeah. once they decide we're going to go, we're going to go and then the players will be expected to be in some sort of fitness right. enough for them to put together a performance on 90 minutes on the weekend. Go on, Gab. No, it's a good point you make about the players working out. Uh, there's been a whole gaggle of videos of players uh, uh, filming themselves working out at home. I think what not everybody realizes is that uh, certainly as far as players in, in parts of Spain are concerned and players in Italy, these people are confined to their homes. So it's not like hey, some people have home gyms and mm. whatever else. Uh, other people do not. And... Um, uh, and, and, and so they've had to either bring in exercise equipment where they can, um, but you know it is very, very up and down and, and, and very different what, what people can actually do on their own. Some people have swimming pools, others do not. For Ali, is anything ever less than 100%? I'd love to hear a 76% a penalty. <laughs> well, a penalty is either a penalty or not a penalty. Yeah. So it's either 0% Zero. Zero or 100%. Yeah. Sure. However, for who's this person? Tim, for Tim, just for you, Tim. Yeah. Just because we're in a tough, <laughs> tough situation nowadays yeah. and I just want to lift your spirits. 76%. Just for you, Tim. I don't have the same ring about it. That's... No, it doesn't, but I do what I can. <laughs> I do it for the people. Gab, all right. Oh, I don't know if it's is it Gab or Gab, Don making. I think it might be Don making strange. Maybe Don just looked at you. Hey, it was me. Oh, no, Gab. Look, I, I appreciate uh, Ali's effort at solidarity, but 76%, Ali, it just doesn't, it just really doesn't sound right. I, no. I think you should just stick to, to what you've been doing all along with the 100%. Oh, because I, see, I'm not selfish, Gab. I'm, I'm here for the people. I'm oh. here to lift spirits. And this go. is what that's team true. needed today. Particularly, that's what I'm doing. That's Particularly what I, team these player. tough times. I, when I heard those strange noises, I thought Don may have looked at himself in the mirror and thought, oh, I've completely <laughs> forgot I was on TV today. Oh, he lost, he lost his captain's armband. Oh, that's what no. it was. <laughs> oh, no. Don, why are you dressed like that? It's freezing over here, and I'm taking measures. I don't want to be cold, so I've got layers on. So and you put uh, layers underneath a shirt and a nice jacket. Well, I've got a jumper on, I've got a couple of t-shirts on, I'm warm, I'm casual. Uh, oh, you <laughs> are casual. casual. You it. are casual. <laughs> right then. I've got the armband on underneath. Favourite... I've got the Everton shirt on underneath. <laughs> Favourite football movie? Oh. ID is really good. If you haven't seen ID, it's not really a football movie, it's about hooliganism in the 80s. No. What do you mean, no? That's a, that's a football uh, movie. It's a st no, you know what? All right, well, obviously the greatest football movie is, is Escape to Victory, which sure. ended mm -hmm. up in a draw, but... Um, Don't ruin it for people who haven't seen it. Stevie might... Uh, Stevie might know this, uh, true, uh, or possibly Don, since he's also Scottish. Isn't there, um, isn't there some famous Scottish film where there's like a, uh, yeah. an iconic film from the 70s Gregory with a girl Giddle. footballer or something? Yeah, Gregory's yes. Girl. Gregory's Girl. What's the premise of Gregory's Pez? Girl, Don? Uh, Gregory's Girl is a girl who's a very talented footballer, but obviously in Scotland and back in, I think, the 70s, they were just boys' team only, but she was uh, she was sort of forced to sort of uh, tie her hair up and look more like a boy so she could play for the team, and she was, like, amazing. But it's, like, a funny, funny film. It's, it's quite iconic. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen Kez. Kez oh, is an iconic fantastic. football film. There you go. Cares is fantastic. That's not a football movie. Brilliant. Well, the best, no, but one of the best parts, and arguably the best part, 
has to do with the school playground playing football. It is absolutely fantastic. When the, when, when the teacher when the teacher gets a penalty, yeah, he and he, he's, he's, he's got the whistle, he blows himself for a penalty, <laughs> uh, and he misses the penalty, and he blames the keeper for moving, so he takes it again, and obviously slots it in the bottom corner. I'm, I'm so ruining that for us as well now. Oh, Jeez, Jeez, spoiler yeah. alert, it's all over the place. You, you really would laugh. Oh. Yeah. Well, if you've, not, if you've not seen Kez, you, you, it should be spoiled. <laughs> you should have seen Kez. <laughs> well, I have not seen it. But now it's at the top <laughs> of my list. Did. Yeah. I am surprised, however, that yeah. Gab did not say kicking and screaming, where the whole premise of the movie is that the kids that are running the team are the Italians. Oh, ah, I haven't heard of that movie. What do you mean? It's with Will Ferrell? I, I have not seen that. No. You should see it. Pass it to the Italians. It? Yes. Oh. Yes. They're the this is an education the for all oh. of us. Oh. Well, you should. Ali, what's the chances of you watching Cares? About 76%? 76%? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think Ali wouldn't understand the way they talk there in that broader, the broad well, he's Yorkshire. He's worked with accent. you for eight years. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, no, Yorkshire, understand. broad Yorkshire. Yorkshire's harder. What's in Cornwall? I don't start with Cornwall. <laughs> we haven't produced any movies. Sure. Yeah, I because nobody can understand it the way you speak. Right. What else was in there? Bend it like Beckham. Goals one and two. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, I'm looking at Steve. Now. Okay, Steve, you're, you're like. Listen, I, I don't, I don't like films that have football in it because right. you can tell how false it is. It's just stupid. Yeah. And, I, and I'm sorry, I yeah. can't. I just can't help myself. Yeah. I was people, watching the, people I, diving out the road and all this nonsense. <laughs> I was re-watching re The Sopranos, which is brilliant. There's a horrible scene, soccer scene in it all, where they're just faking it all. Horrible. How do you say, Stevie? To be fair, how bad work. was Sylvester Wait. Stallone? As a goalie. <laughs> I mean, come on. Give me a break. What? <laughs> well, nearly as bad as Rodney Dangerfield as the coach in Ladybots. Oh, uh, Gab, did you want to chip in before we move on? I think you're being pretty harsh on, <laughs> on Stallone because, he was you know, a lot, of the, uh, <laughs> a lot of the players who played on the German team, you know, those are real footballers. Those were professional oh, footballers. Those were your fellow really? pros. And he Did kept I mention them, that? He kept them out as best he could. He did I mention goals, that? I think, or four goals. <laughs> what is well, he did well to keep them out. He did what he could. <laughs> Shut he up. only just learned stupid. to play the game. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. We need some sort of live At commentary least, over I'll this. tell you what. If you... I'll tell oh, you, if you're, going to, if you're going to play a part, at least look authentic. <laughs> so if you're going to play a goalie, at least dive properly. He couldn't even dive properly. <laughs> what goalie do you know who dives playing. up the way <laughs> and then sideways? Steve, the whole premise is that he's not a goalkeeper. He's a guy who's learning on the job. It's like his second day ever playing football. He's not going to look... He's not going to look authentic. It's embarrassing. It's I just embarrassing. think you're being harsh on him. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, and the thing, <laughs> do you think they had a throwing coach in that team? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, yeah. Well, the goalie coach doubled up as a uh, throwing coach. Gab. Didn't he? Biggest moment. <laughs> Eagles winning the Super Bowl or Italy winning the World Cup? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Mm. All right. I'm going to go with... Italy winning the World Cup, even though, I, you know. See, Italy have been world champions four times. The Eagles have won the NFL four times. So, you know, I, I, I think that there's a nice balance there. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to go to the World Cup because you know what? It's all about the villains that you beat on your way to doing it. And the Eagles did overcome Tom Brady and the Cowboys. I'm oh, sorry, and the, uh, and the Patriots. And of course, they beat the Cowboys because uh, they're in the same division. They play them every year. But man, Italy, the two World Cups that Italy won in, their, in, in my lifetime, we got to beat the Germans twice, once in the final, once in the semifinal. And, 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 and that's pretty special. It was Stallone in goal for Germany, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you all doing? They're close, Jens Lehmann. <laughs> Jens Lehmann and Stallone, about the same. Yeah. Far from. Apart from watching Escape to Victory, what are you all doing to kill time in this stay-at-home period? <laughs> Dan finally learning Spanish, Stevie oh. writing a second book. By the way, I don't know, I don't know, you weren't here, but I was asking Julian, right, right. about a French detective. I will say, yeah, 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 you're watching it, yes. Right? Yes. So, my business finished that one. Right. 
I went home the other night. Yeah. And she was on to another one, a new French one with subtitles. You don't like subtitles because you no. like to walk around no. when the TV's on for some reason. <laughs> <I'm> like, honestly. <laughs> It gets, uh, it gets a bit tiresome. Ah. Where you're glued to the waiting and the waiting and the words coming up on the screen. It's well, what annoying. else would you be doing? It's annoying. You're just that. watching TV. It's annoying. It's not annoying. It is, uh, have you been watching French subtitles? I watch many Spanish things with subtitles <laughs> in English. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Spanish. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Don, you've got, you've got what three-year-old twins, so that's keeping you uh, nicely yeah. occupied. Honestly, I am <laughs> so bored. It's untrue. Oh, dear. I went to a game shop the other day and bought Kiddies Bingo. I've been playing bingo with the three-year-olds, which involves, like, like this little tumbler with yeah. all the balls in. Yeah, but I think the we balls wanna... are like tiny little marbles, and there's, like, 90 of them. Right. And trying to keep three-year-old twins in check, putting, like, one, two, three, all in the right order, yeah. and losing balls here, there, and everywhere. I reckon I've had it... I reckon I've had it four days, and I've gone from 90 balls to about 76. Yeah! <laughs> Tell you what, you 76 know, balls! Yeah. You know when you're lying in bed at night, Don, can you hear all the balls going <laughs> round, and round, 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 round. Honestly, mate, I've got, I've got, I've got OCD, so they have to, everything has to be back in the boxes, all the, all the, all the chess pieces and all the draft oh, pieces and all, all the. Everything. Playing chess at three years old. <laughs> Torture. <laughs> you must take after the mother. <laughs> I have to question his uh, leadership skills. Yes, yes exactly. he's, he's a captain, right? Yeah, he's, you a, would he's, lost, think... uh, he's dropped 14 balls. Yes, I mean, I'm just saying, you would think that he would lead his team a little bit better than he has so what, far. what about you, Gab? What are you doing in your downtime? Well, I don't actually have that many, that much downtime because I actually have to work and write and produce podcasts as well as sit on here and talk to you guys, as you know. Um, but it's not a real uh, job. We've got, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we do have a courtyard with, with a basketball hoop, but it's fully enclosed, and I'm told it's, uh, it's okay to go out there, and it's not much fun playing against my kids because I'm substantially taller than they are and substantially better for now, anyway. <laughs> um, so well, you had to get the better. I'm trying to teach myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to teach myself to, to play left-handed and to do what... When I played basketball when I was younger, which I was never allowed to do, which is which is handle the ball. Because they was kind of like, all right, you just go under the basket, get rebounds and foul people. I'm like, okay. Mm. So it's a whole new world there. And I realized there's a good reason why I was never allowed to handle the ball because it's really difficult and it takes a lot of hand-eye coordination and, you, and it, <laughs> it's easier to be small when you do it. But um, it's a learning process. And there's a whole bunch of wonderful uh, videos on YouTube Teaching you all sorts of uh, all sorts of tricks, which oh, Gab, you're gonna have to you upload your yeah. video of doing it. That is, that's got to entertain <laughs> us for a bit, definitely. Final one. The, forget the best goal. What's the worst goal you've ever scored? Oh, Ali, this is you've got yeah, a, I mean, you've got a is, range of this. I is, mean, this is. <laughs> I got a whole catalog. <laughs> All of them were, were terrible. Scrappiest, yeah. nastiest. He could, he could actually pull a DVD of yeah, Alex yeah. Walsh's goals. Oh, yeah, yeah that, they were all within <laughs> two yards. All deadly from there. Uh, Don, is there one that uh, comes to mind? Uh, I scored one off my backside in a Merseyside derby. Yeah. Um, and It wasn't when you were captain ever at Merseyside. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, no, it was a Goodison and it was nil-nil. And Sander Vestervel tried to take a quick free kick and I walked past him and he smashed it off my backside. And as the ball rolled over the line, Graham Pohl panicked and blew for full time. Oh, Stadium yes. went absolutely mental. Oh, Finished well, nil-nil, goes that. goal. I, I forgot about that, Don. I'm going to look that up. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. so, so it wasn't a goal after all? No, got disallowed. Oh, but it oh. should have been a goal. <laughs> Stevie? No, I don't, I don't no, just, I'll take just, anything. Listen, own goals, but not, not goals that scored. No. I don't care how they go on, it's a good goal. What was the worst own goal? Oh, I chipped David James, who's 112 foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> from, from 30 yards out, away at Middlesbrough. He came running out and I lobbed it over the top of his head. A good finish, but... Yeah, wrong oh, I remember that. Did you give it my bad? Played in that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much, everyone. Lots, lots to talk about tomorrow. For Frank LeBeouf will be here, Ian Dark, Julianne as well to react to that UEFA meeting where they will have, you imagine, some clarity about what's going to happen with Euro 2020.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.